In Angular v15, we brought you full application hydration support, enabling developers to improve the core web vitals of their applications with server-side rendering, or SSR. Then in Angular v17, we brought you a new way to lazy load parts of your application at the template level with defer reviews using the new at defer syntax. Angular v18 saw the introduction of event replay, and this gave devs the power to capture interactions during app loading and replay them at the right time. So today, I'm gonna to share a preview of the next step in the performance story, incremental hydration. Incremental hydration creates a new way to hydrate specific parts of your application on demand. Let's check out how this works in an actual application. Here's a sample e-commerce app built in Angular with incremental hydration enabled. Now, for this demonstration, we've styled the application in gray so that way we can visualize the moments when the various parts of the app are incrementally loaded and hydrated. So to start, the entire landing page has been rendered using SSR, but none of the JavaScript associated with it has been loaded just yet. First, I'm gonna click on the search bar to hydrate that component. As soon as I interact with this component, the code responsible for the logic is quickly downloaded and applied to the component. Now, using our custom info panel that we built for this example, we can see that it shows one component being hydrated and it even shows 1.2 kilobytes of data being downloaded. Now, below the search bar is a list of dehydrated products and as I move my mouse over the boundary, the component is hydrated and ready for interaction. The same goes for the list of products under the technology heading. All right, all right, all right. I know this was great, but I know you want to see some code. In order to use incremental hydration in your application, you have to enable the feature in your application config by adding provide client hydration with partial hydration to the providers list. Back in the application template, add incremental hydration by including a hydrate trigger as a parameter to the defer block. We use defer blocks as the foundation of this new feature. We're able to leverage the same set of triggers used with defer, like idle, viewport, and interaction. Hydrate gets a new trigger called never that when used means that that part of the app will remain static and not hydrated. It's particularly useful when you have non-interactive components on the page for which you wanna delay loading and prevent hydration. I know, I know, sounds really awesome. Incremental hydration is the next step in the Angular's hydration story and we can't wait for you to try it out when it's ready. So be sure to stay tuned for even more information in upcoming Angular releases. All right, friends, that's it for me. Go build great apps.